the outline of my talk. So I will first uh, go through a brief definition of spondyloarthritis, also known as SPA, uh, non-radiographic axial spondyloarthritis, and um, ankylosing spondylitis, also known as ES. Um, following that, I will be covering on um, axial spondyloarthritis, including um, the risk factors, symptoms, associated conditions, complications, diagnosis, and treatment. So what is um, spondyloarthritis? Spondyloarthritis is a family of... Um, oh, um, I'm not sure how to remove the annotation on my... Slides. Sorry, I'm not sure how these lines got there. I think someone's doing some annotation. Okay, but anyway, moving on. Um, oh, we can see it still. It's fine. We can see it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Spondylo arthritis is a family of um, arthritis associated diseases. So um, the arthritis can affect joints as well as. Um, the antheses, which are the sites which uh, ligaments and tendons um, join to the bone. So um, over here, we're at the bone and the tendon, and this is the antheseal site. So in spondyloarthritis, um, this is one of the areas that can commonly be affected. And one example of this antheseal site is um, in the ankle, where the Achilles tendon is. So this, um, in spinal arthritis, the arthritis can result in inflammation, which can happen in the spine and or in the joints in the arms or the legs, depending on which sites are affected, it may vary from patient to patient. So um, traditionally, spondylo refers to the joints and antheses in the, in the spine, and arthritis includes the joint and antheseal sites in the arms, legs, and feet. Well, the body's immune system is designed to fight infections to keep a person healthy. In patients with uh, spondyloarthritis, the immune system can cause inflammation in various joints, and this may include um, the joints in the spine, the pelvis, the arms, the legs, and the feet. This can cause pain and stiffness and may ultimately lead to joint damage in some if the disease is not treated and the inflammation not controlled. So um, as mentioned earlier, spondyloarthritis is a family of arthritis associated diseases. Spondyloarthritis is an umbrella term describing a family of chronic inflammatory uh, rheumatic diseases. These diseases are characterized by inflammation of the exoskeleton, peripheral joints, and antheseal insertion sites throughout the body, which can lead to structural joint damage, including formation of new bone in the spine and peripheral joint resulting in joint fusion. The most common diseases in this group are ankylosing spondylitis, and non radiographic axial spondylite, low arthritis. Associated conditions include eye inflammation, known as uveitis, skin disease psoriasis, and bowel inflammation, known as inflammatory bowel disease. Sorry. Mm, sorry, just hold on, because my slides are not changing on my screen. Okay. Yeah, so uh, in this diagram, although the diseases are generally classified into one of two groups, depending on the predominance of whether the axial spine or peripheral joints in the arms or legs are affected, there may be considerable overlap amongst the different type of spondyloarthritis. And this is a, a neat classification diagram, but the diseases are not mutually exclusive. Persons affected may have just axial disease or peripheral disease or both axial and peripheral features. 
and may also have one or more of the associated conditions such as uveitis, psoriasis, or inflammatory bowel disease, which include both ulcerated colitis and Crohn's disease. In patients who have this um, IBD, inflammatory bowel disease associated arthritis, they are known as enteropathic arthritis. So um, dactylitis also is um, one of the features of the peripheral arthritis in which there can be a global swelling of a finger or a toe, giving it a clinical sausage-shaped presentation. Um, this is not so commonly seen in axial arthritis, um, but more commonly seen in psoriatic arthritis, in which axial arthritis may also occur. 